Hey guys, Max Seabag here and in this video I will be explaining URL triggers. So if you've been following the previous videos in this series, you have learned about how variables work, like the basics, how we can compare them with each other, some cool tricks, and we can also use we have also learned about uh, slots and how we can manipulate those okay so now we are ready now we're finally ready to move on to the most advanced thing yet in the editor and that is the URL request and this this trigger is not to be underestimated so let's see what all of the fuzz is about <laughs> So we're just going to make a simple button that activates this trigger and we're going to look at the actual trigger type. So it says request web page with URL stored in variable A and we save the response in variable B. Variable B will, will be equal to loading for some period of time. Cool. So first we have to define the variable of the website we're going to requests so this is going to be that variable uh, trigger here because we can't just use the value now um, I found a website here which is called mocky.io mocky.io and we can just go through this together and when you when you go to this website you can type in something in the body which is like yeah yeah, message from Maki. Woo! And then JJ, join the HD request. And then copy and paste that link. Copy and paste that link. And we set the variable. Let's say, let's see here. We set the variable A to value B. And this can be a uh, request and we set the request to the website URL and then we set request in parameter a and this takes back website response I've also made it so we show a hint automatically every time that show the web website response, so we know what it, it what it is at all times. Okay, cool. So now it's just displaying the uh, website response, but since we haven't defined it yet because we haven't pressed the button, we just get the simple text. You know that we press the button, and it says, "Yeah, message from Maki." Woo. You notice that it didn't say loading that because that's because it was just such a fast response so that is basically the, that is just basics about how HTTP requests work now let's do something more advanced um, in the next video